Hey friends, it's Gabrielle Ashell. Welcome to my new channel. Today is gonna to be my very first grocery store haul. I usually do like shopping hauls, uh, try on hauls and things like that. So this is new to me, but I wanted to share with you guys what I bought. I am a single woman. Well, I have a boyfriend, but single because I'm not married. I live by myself. Um, I cook for myself and I wanna show you guys what I have for the week. So I like to go to the grocery store on Sundays and prepare my meals Sundays. So that way I'll have my meal for the week and I won't have to worry about cooking throughout the week. It doesn't always happen like that, but that is ideal for me. So today I got a Minute Maid orange juice. It has low pulp and that was 2000 years later. It uh, looks like I didn't pay for it. I know I did. I put. It, I mean, I did it myself. Okay, this was three nineteen. Not on. Not on. A lot of stuff wasn't on sale, but this was three nineteen. I got the Bulk House Farm Amazing Mango. It's like a smoothie, and I usually get them in this size. Well, this is naked, but they're the same size. But these are like four dollars a piece, and I only paid seven. Um, seven forty nine for this. So I think this is more than worth it. So let me actually get a Bolt House, Bolt House drink. This is Bolt House Farms and the drinks are usually 15.2 fluid ounce. And this here is 52 fluid ounce. So if I take 15 times two is 30, I feel like I already got my money's worth paying $7 for this. So I think it's worth it. I also got, um, some milk, I get the 2% reduced fat milk, and the milk was $2.59. Then moving on to the fruit snacks, I always get fruit snacks. I'm still a little kid. So these ones, they used to be called something else, but I remember the box, the purple box, well, not Welch's. I don't know, but I used to get them from Costco all the time. Now they're called Funnables, and they were, there's a pack of 10. They were buy one, get one free. So I paid $4.29 for both of these. Regular price is $4.29, which is crazy to me, but whatever. <laughs> then we have the Tide detergent. So there's a lot of different types of Tide, but I got the Tide Simply Oxy and the Tide Simply Free Plus Sensitive. The original price is $4.99, they were on sale for $3.49. And then I had a 50% 50, 50 coupon that should have doubled to a dollar, but it did not double. Um, so I can actually take that to the customer service and see if they can give me my money. Run me my money. <laughs> it's only 50 cents, but still every penny counts. So 3.49, 50 cent coupon. Um, so then I bought a soft scrub. This was 4.69 and then I had a dollar off coupon. Usually at grocery stores, coupons double up to 99 cents. So if it's less than 99 cents, let's say if you have a 50 cent coupon, then it should double to a dollar. So you get a dollar off of the price, which is what I should have done, gotten for this. Okay, then I got some strawberries and blueberries. Strawberries were $5.99 regular price. They were $2.50 off, so it was like three, basically the same as this, about $3.50 and then the blueberries were $6.99. Well, that's expensive. I didn't I didn't realize that. <laughs> I guess that's my fault for not really looking into that. But $6.99 is a lot for one pint of blueberries. That's crazy. And then I got a pineapple here. I paid $2.99 for the pineapple, which is really good. I got some spinach here, and the spinach was $2.50. Harris Teeter brand. Sometimes I care about the brands and sometimes I don't. If it's something like spinach, I would usually get, um, what's that? I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but I get that if it has, if I get coupons from them. Otherwise, I'll go for the Harris Teeter brand. Then I got broccoli. I got two heads of broccoli because I'm going to be making chicken and broccoli, or no, sorry, beef and broccoli tonight. Um, the broccoli was, oh, sorry, two crowns of broccoli. Let me get that correct. So I got two crowns of broccoli. It was 1.2 pounds at $1.49 a pound. 
and then there was like a little discount so I ended up paying $1.79 for two crowns of broccoli and then I had some coupons for toilet paper so I always like to compare my toilet paper because I had Cottonelle coupon for that but I'm looking at the price and then I'm also looking at the number of five sheets per roll and it just made sense. I spent a little bit less to get this new brand. I've never even heard of it, but White Cloud, ultra soft and, and strong, gentle cushion layers. So we'll see what it's about. These were buy one, get one free. It was $9.99 for one. So I paid $9.99 for two because the second one was free. And these are six rolls. Uh, they're mega rolls, so they equal 24 regular rolls. So they should last for a while. Then I got Angel Saw. This has four mega rolls, so it equals 16 regular rolls. And these were regularly 40, sorry, $4.99. And then I had a dollar coupon, so I paid $3.99 for them. Oh, I forgot about this. I got donut holes. These were in the front. There's uh, pumpkin spice. I got them like two or three times already, and they're so good, especially with apple cider. Let's see how much I paid for these. They were $6.49, so that's kind of expensive, but I don't know, I like them, so, and it's the season for them, so it's fine with me. So I only have three coupons this time. Usually I try to bring more coupons because people underestimate couponing. And if you're interested in seeing an old video of me couponing, I'll put it up in the, uh, in the cards above and also in the description box below. Or you can let me know, I can do an updated video of me couponing because that one was kind of cringy watching. It was over three years ago that I created it, but I just uploaded it a couple months ago. So anyways, I had three coupons and I ended up paying $65.73 for all of this stuff. I feel like I could have definitely done better if I were to use coupons, but I was in a rush. It's Sunday and I'm trying to get stuff done. I have projects that I'm working on downstairs and I'm just trying to get ready for Monday. So I'm not sure if you see this or not from the shot, but I like to wipe down every single thing I get from the, the grocery store. Ever since COVID, I just feel more comfortable after doing that because there's so many cans that touch, you know, it goes through so many different channels before it gets to me, the consumer. So imagine all the hands that are just picking this up, putting it down. The people who are even coming in shopping, picking it up, putting it back, touching other things, rubbing their nose, eyes, and picking up, you know, it's a lot. So I like to make sure that I wipe all of my products down with the Clorox wipes. Yeah, so this is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh, I didn't tell you guys where I went shopping. I went to Harris Teeter, your neighborhood market. <laughs> it's the closest and best grocery store near me. It's very um, modern and I like the sales that they have there. I like the produce that I get there and the meat is usually fresh. So I, here I don't have any meat. It was just like, I went in there for veggies, fruits for the week and then um, orange juice, milk and juices. So I have a freezer full of meat and I'm actually making beef and broccoli as I just mentioned. And then I'm making spaghetti for the week. So that way I'll have different options for my lunch this week. So Harris Heater, there's an app and you can clip your coupons there or you can also, you know, bring in physical coupons. Um, I also use this app called Ibotta. If you're interested in downloading it, you can save a lot of money. I'm in the $250 club because I have saved or received back $250 from my shopping thanks to Ibotta. So go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below, but it's really good because like I said before, every penny counts and if I can get money back for things I'm gonna buy anyway, why not use it? So um, I'll check my Ibotta to see if I have anything I probably don't because I got a lot of like off brand things. Um, but I'll check for the, the items that are branded. And usually there's like 25 or 50 cents for just scanning your receipt for a grocery store. So I'll check for that. If I do, I'll be, they'll be on the screen as I'm talking right now. But yeah, so that is it. I paid 65.73 for 17 items. 
I had $2 in manufacturing coupons and then I saved $24.50 in the uh, VIC savings. So that's, I think, very important customer. They have sales that are uh, special for the people who have their rewards card. And then, so total coupons, $26.50. Total savings, $26.50 which is a 28% of the entire price. So when I was like really, really couponing, I would like to get it down to 50%. Like I saved 50% of my price with my coupon. So we'll work our way to that, but coupon takes a lot of work. And I'm just not really there right now, but I will work my way to that. I earned 67 points for fuel, um, 177 this month and they expire at the end of November. So I can use them at BP, I believe, um, which is cool. I like when the grocery stores partner with gas stations to get you some money off your gas. Anyways, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until the next post, I'll see you later. Bye.